a grocer has a sale of rupees this 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 and this for five consecutive months how much sale must he have in the sixth month so that he gets an average sale of rupees 6 to 500 there is a grocer and he makes a sale of rupees 6435 6927 6855 7230 and for rupees 6562 for five consecutive months and we have to calculate here how much sale he has to make in the sixth month in order to have a average sale of rupees 6500 for the period of six months here the average sale for the period of six months is given and that is rupees 6500 and the monthly sale for five consecutive months is given so we have to use the basic formula basic concept of average to solve this problem we know the formula for average is sum of all the entities by number of entities here the average value is rupees 6500 and sum of all the entities sum of sale for five consecutive months plus for the sixth month so it will be rupees For the first month, this is the sale for the second month, for the third month, for the fourth month, and this is for the fifth month. And we don't know what is the sale of the sixth month, so we will let the sale of the sixth month be X. This is sum of all the sales for six consecutive months. We know the value of first five months, but we don't know the value of sale of the sixth month. So we have assumed it to be X and total number of entities will be six. We can do the cross multiplication 6500 into six and the sum of these five entities will be Thirty-four thousand nine plus x and sixty-five hundred into six will be rupees thirty-nine thousand. We can bring this in the left-hand side minus thirty-four thousand nine, and now we can get the value of x. So the value of x will be rupees. 4991 so this is the sale that he should make in the sixth month in order to have an average sale of rupees 6500 for a period of six months this is our required answer